What's up guys, I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. Today is a great day, it is spark plug day and that means we are changing the spark plugs on this 2000 Jeep XJ I call Black Beauty. We're also going to change the spark plugs on my 1998 Jeep Grand Cherokee General Grievous just so you guys can get a good idea on the differences between the coil pack ignition found in the 2000 and 2001 Jeep XJs and Grand Cherokees up and uh, the difference between the Grand Cherokee ZJ distributor ignition with the spark plug wires and all the XJs that are older than 1999. So we're going to go get started. The first thing we got to do is pick up our spark plugs. All right, you guys know how I roll. Usually buy my parts online and I can apply my discount code for extra savings. Then I go to the store and I pick them up. I rarely just walk into the store and buy the things because why waste money, right? So I uh, did all my shopping online. Now we're going to jump in the Grievous. We're going to go pick up my parts. Uh, so I bought, geez, I bought 12 spark plugs. And uh, I also bought a spark plug gapper because um, I keep losing them. So you can never have enough spark plug gappers. They're cheap enough. So um, let me show you the spark plugs I bought. You know what? I'll throw in my order form here. There you go. You can see my savings right there. So, as you can see, I went with the NGK brand, model number ZFR5N. Now, I usually get the Champion Spark Plugs. The FSM recommends Champion Spark Plugs. You can see it right here. Model number RC12ECC. But, again, they didn't have them in the store, and I wanted to pick them up. So, uh, I went with the NGK. And according to this chart, you could even use the Mopar Spark Plugs. So, NGK, Champion, Mopar. We'll see how it works. All right, let's hit the road. <sighs> Air conditioning. <laughs> uh, my buddy Gabe, who's a real mechanic, not just a YouTube mechanic, said he's gonna help me make a video on how to really fix the AC in an XJ or a ZJ. So, yeah. We are on the road, gonna pick up our spark plugs, but first we're gonna make a really special stop. Uh, we're gonna see a friend of mine, uh, Aunt Millie. She's, uh, geez, I've known her for 30 years. Um, she is my best friend growing up's mother, and uh, she is an amazing artist, guys. She does these really cool paintings on old vinyl records, and she's made them for all my kids. Uh, geez, she made, um, Judy Hops, a minion, she made a pig. <laughs> she even painted me a really beautiful Lady Liberty in front of Old Glory painting. So uh, she made a new painting for my youngest daughter and we're gonna pick it up right now. Uh, I think it's a mermaid. So we're gonna go check this out. So uh, yeah, I'll see you when we get there. All right, guys, we are here in Millie's basement studio. Check out those paintings. And there she is. Hi, <laughs> Hello. What's going on? Ah, lots of artwork. Lots of artwork. Yeah, <laughs> I can see that. You've been busy. Yes. Wow. Check these out, guys. Can you show us uh, show us some of what you do? What is sure. all this great um, stuff? Well, mymilliesart.com basically um, specializes in keeping vinyl records out of the landfill. Nice. I found out about 11 years ago that it takes 500 years for a vinyl to decompose in a landfill setting. Really? And I thought that was unacceptable. That's crazy. So I just began to get passionate about painting on these vinyls and I've been able to repurpose hundreds of them over the years. Yeah. And now, no yeah, <laughs> recently, yeah, um, I've been leaning more in this direction because of current events, to be honest. Yeah. And, uh, I'm, I'm hoping for more ideas and more inspiration. Well, this is a great idea. Um, you you made, a, I showed the, the pig earlier. You yes. got a pig, uh, Judy Hopps. Yep. Um, what else? The Minion. Yes. And JoJo special request. Yes, I have JoJo's a mermaid. special request. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> uh, it came out great. Little Mermaid. That's great. <laughs> yeah, I love to do um, different kinds of cartoons and things. This is Panthro from the Thundercats. Yes. Miss Piggy. <laughs> I've got a Johnny Quest over there. and a, um, Let's take a look at these. Dino, the dinosaur. And underneath there's um, Roger Rabbit and his wife. 
<laughs> you um you actually even painted me an American flag in front of the Statue of Liberty. Yes. I still have that in my oh. trophy case. So. <laughs> And you basically can paint anything. Yes, uh, and, pretty much. Uh, sky's the limit. Yeah. So um, anything and everything. If you guys want to order a custom vinyl painting, um, just go to milliesart.com. That's my Etsy store. Milliesart.com. Yep. And um, we can follow you on Instagram. Instagram at milliesart123. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yep. Got that, guys? Follow Millie. Go online. Order some great stuff for the kids, for your trophy room, for anything. Beautiful stuff. Thank you so much. Thank Dan. you. I appreciate it. <laughs> See you later. My adopted son. <laughs> That's right. Aunt Millie. That's right. All right. Bye, honey. Bye. All right. We're back. We got our spark plugs. Thanks again, Millie, for those paintings. Really appreciate it. So here we go. Spark plugs. These are the... What is it? <laughs> These are the NGK ZFR... 5N spark plugs right there and the FSM calls for champion um, again I'll put the link in the description for the champion ones and you can see the chart for the NGK ones here we go step one we're gonna start the engine let it run for a couple minutes to warm up All right, a little bit of heat should help loosen up these spark plugs, make them come out nice and easy. All right, now we gotta find the spark plug. So here's the thing, 2001 and 2000 XJs have this here coil pack. You can see underneath these uh, coolant lines. To get to the coil pack, I'm going to take off these coolant lines. Now, you don't really have to, you could bend them up out of the way, but uh, I think it's gonna make it easier to film this video so you guys can see and I'll just burp the system later. So if you could avoid disconnecting your lines, try it. For me, I'm gonna take them off so you guys can see. Before we can get to the lines, we're gonna have to take off these uh, throttle body cables. Now this is your uh, gas pedal. This is your, uh, whatchamacallit, speed control, your cruise control. And this is the uh, TV cable, the transmission cable. So we're just gonna go ahead and just pop these off so they're out of the way. One. Just gonna give this a little pinchy, pinchy and a wiggly. Those are technical terms, guys. <laughs> Let me give it a pull and a wiggly. There we go. And get it up. There. Now they're not dripping, so that's cool. All right, now we're gonna take off our ignition coil. It should be four bolts, one, two, three, four. They're 13 millimeter. They're pretty long. They get threaded all the way into the head. And uh, I just put a little paper towel plug in here so we don't have any um, coolant juices uh, bathing our spark plug area. So just keep that clean. And these are very loose, loose. <laughs> These bolts are very loose. Jeez, uh, not too much torque on these bad boys. So they come right out, or they should. Um, we got the uh, tranny dipstick in the way. I'm gonna have to get rid of this deep dish. Once you broke the tension, it will come right out. Hand tighten, or hand loosen rather. There we go, all four bolts. Now we can wiggle this out, and then we'll get to the plug. I want a nice, Gentle, even pull up, and they should all just kind of give. You feel that suction when it releases from the spark plug. There we go, right there. Now I think this has a little safety on it, but I can't see it. Ah, let me come around on the other side of y'all. Or if you're from New York, you guys, the safety is off of this thing. <laughs> Yeah, I might put a little red tab back in there just because it's stock. So here we go. Here is the coil pack rail. Ta-da! 
All right, guys, there are all six spark plugs. I got this XJ summer of 2017, and I have not done the spark plugs on this thing. It ran fine, so I never thought there was a need for it. I only put 10,000 miles on this since I've owned it, and uh, I never really needed to do the spark plugs. But you know what? I'm just so damn curious. Plus, I promised you guys a spark plug video for a <laughs> coil pack XJ. So here we go. We're gonna open this up and we're gonna check the condition of these plugs. All right, guys, here is a very crucial step. Once you've relieved your coil pack, you are gonna to wanna to loosen up and suck out all of this debris that is just resting here on the head. Now, this material that could potentially fall into your head in the spark plug holes, you don't want that. So uh, you could either blow it out with an air gun or suck it out and uh, you will have a nice, clean area to work with when you're doing your spark plugs. So, we're gonna suck all this crap out. So, for the XJ, you're gonna need a, what is this, a 5 8 It's a 5 8 spark plug tool. It's got that little piece of rubber in there that grips the plugs, keeps everything straight when you're loosening and tightening so it doesn't strip or break. And I got about a six inch extension on a three quarter inch drive. So this will be the main, the main tool for extracting. So here we go. We're gonna come down in here on cylinder number one and just gonna set it on there, give it a little wiggle. You'll feel it when uh, the plug fits onto that socket goes in a little deeper and then that you get that suction feeling so there we go now we're just gonna give it a little a little bit of loosening these aren't torqued down that tight at all I believe factory spec is 30 foot pounds so that's it a little tightening and you can do the rest by hand just like the coil bolts there we go there's spark plug one Gross. Number two. Number three. Oops. Number four. Five. And for number six, we're gonna shorten it up to about a two or three inch extension. All right, let's see if we can get in here. A little bit trickier, as is everything with cylinder six, but no worries. We got it. Again, this is not a torque monster. They're just spark plugs. There we go, number six. Cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are the cylinders in that order. And these are the old spark plugs, the Champion RC12ECC. Like I said, these are uh, the factory spec from the FSM and they're not terrible um geez the guy probably changed it right before he sold the XJ to me but anyway here are the new spark plugs the NGK we're gonna give them a shot and factory spacing for the spark plugs is 0 0.035 of an inch <laughs> so what you do is you slide your gapper Slide the spark plug right around the gapper, right to 3.5. There we go. 0 0.035. And let's just say you're uh, you're feeling a little strong, <laughs> and you go past it. Oops, I got it to uh, 0 0.040. Well, no big deal. Just pop it off, give it a little gentle tap, and then you can reset your gapping right back three five there all right we've got our six new plugs nice and gapped 0.035 let's get them in all right guys a little trick i like to use when installing these spark plugs is i try to wrap a little tape around the socket to connect it to the extension a little stronger because when you pull the spark plugs or you pull the socket up after installing the spark plugs that little rubber grommet or gasket or whatever, it holds it in. So let's try to beat that friction by taping on these uh, extenders. So that might do the trick, we'll see. If not, it'll just be annoying, whatever. 
<laughs> All right, and we're putting in our spark plug. So I'm gonna seat it nicely into the socket, just like this, and we are not using any anti-seize or anything. A nice bright metallic surface means uh, you do not need anti-seize. If you have like the dark flat black uh, metal spark plugs, then those could use anti-seize, but in this case, not needed. All right, spark plug is in its socket or hole or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> it's in the head. Now you can nice, gently hand tighten it. There we go. Give it a little wiggles. I want to make sure it's not cross threaded. There we go. And you'll get to your resistance. Good. It's in. Now we're going to torque it. Torque wrench. We have set it to the factory spec. 30 foot pounds of torque. There we go. There we go. Once it clicks, you have reached 30 foot pounds of torque. Now we can pop it off. All right, it worked. All right, here we go. <laughs> we got our longer extension taped on, and we just used regular old masking tape. Not that using more mask is something I want to do. Uh, even mask your tools, right? Uh, stupid, crazy times. All right, and tight. All right, we are ready to reinstall our coil pack rail, and right before I do so, I'm just gonna add a little dielectric grease into these little ports, those spark plugs. Just a little dab. Why not, right? All six holes, ta-da. And we can reinstall. <laughs> there we go. Pulled off a safety clip from another wire harness. <laughs> All right. Just want to keep everything as factory as possible, right then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, safety's installed. Go ahead and connect our wire until it clips, and then reattach the safety or lock, if you will. Now we can slide our coil right back on, and it just kind of slurps right on, <laughs> just like a spark plug wire. And then you can gently push them down into place. <laughs> right, the coil pack rail is kind of slopped right on there. And we're going to reinstall our coil pack uh, retaining bolts. Yeah, yeah that works. <laughs> that sounds convincing enough. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and follow suit and do uh, 30 foot pounds for these also. All right, now we're just gonna reinstall our coolant lines. Here is that holder thingy. Get out of here, mosquito. I'm gonna smash you. <laughs> My daughter calls me Wreck-It Ralph, because I smash things. <laughs> All right, where does this one go? This one goes right over here. Clip that bad boy in. Now, we can reinstall our transmission cable, TV cable, cruise control cable. Fish it through. And throttle cable. Set her in place there. Fish it in place through here. Clip her on. Clip it here. All right, she's back together. And this reminds me, I gotta do a cruise control video for you guys. but. Another project. Let's start this up, see how the XJ did. All right, spark plugs are in the XJ. It's running great. Let's see if these NGKs can stand the test of time. Uh, the coil pack, really simple. You just gotta pop off that rail and then you can change your plugs, put it all back together 
no biggie. I'll, uh, I'll burp or uh, flush the coolant later, not worried about that. Uh, now we're going to go over to the Grand Cherokee, it's a 98, and 98 has the distributor and the spark plug wire. So let's go see how we do the spark plugs on that setup. Alright guys, so now we're up here with General Grievous and I already went ahead and removed all the cables to the throttle body. I also removed all the heater hoses that go to the heater core and look what happens when I got in there. Check that out. We got a rip boot. So, I'm guessing this rubber is pretty old on these wires. So I grabbed new spark plug wires and what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove them one at a time and reinstall them and label them as I go. All right, guys, uh, for number one, I just needed a little bit of swivel to get on there, but they are all out. And man, a couple of these have some pretty nasty deposits. So it's good that we're changing these. Uh, I don't know how long it's been since they were changed. These are the Bosch Platinum R6. So um, yeah, we're gonna say goodbye to these Bosch. We're gonna put in the same NGKs. We'll see how they do. All right, got all the spark plug wires where they need to be. Pulled off all my labels. And don't forget the dielectric grease on your spark plug side. And that's it. There we go. Uh, Going to connect the hoses and then we'll uh, start her up. All right, guys. Once again, everything's back together. Plugs are in, wires are on, hoses are connected, and the cables are back on the throttle body. So we're going to start her. Alright guys, that is a wrap for Spark Plug Day. Hope you enjoyed seeing spark plugs installed on the 2000 and 2001 XJ that has the coil pack ignition system versus the ZJs and also the 99 XJs and older with the distributor and spark plug wires. We got to change some spark plug wires and showed you some tips and tricks, so that's gonna do it. Um, also, huge shout out and thank you to Millie. Thank you for the paintings. If you guys want your paintings, Go ahead and order one from milliesart.com and follow her along on Instagram at milliesart123. So, thanks again. We love it. Maybe we'll get an XJ one next time. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next project. Peace.